Throughout history, science has often been a beacon of progress and enlightenment. However, some scientists have used their intellect and resources for dark purposes. This list explores the dark side of science, highlighting nine of the most evil scientists in history. 1. Joseph Mengele Joseph Mengele, infamously known as the Angel of Death, was a Nazi physician at the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. Mengele conducted horrifying experiments on prisoners, including twins, dwarfs, and individuals with unique physical traits. His experiments were characterized by extreme cruelty, lack of anesthesia, and complete disregard for human life. Mengele's fascination with genetics led him to perform unspeakable acts, such as injecting chemicals into children's eyes to change their color and sewing twins together in attempts to create conjoined twins. His work was a perverse abuse of medical science, leaving countless victims suffering or dead. 2. Shiro Ishii Shiro Ishii was a Japanese microbiologist and the head of Unit 731, a covert biological and chemical warfare research and development unit of the Imperial Japanese Army during the Second Sino-Japanese War and World War II. Ishii's unit conducted inhumane experiments on prisoners of war and civilians, including vivisections without anesthesia, testing biological weapons, and deliberately infecting subjects with deadly pathogens like plague and anthrax. The atrocities committed under Ishii's command resulted in the deaths of tens of thousands of people. Despite his war crimes, Ishii was granted immunity by the United States in exchange for his research data. 3. Johann Konrad Dippel Johann Konrad Dippel was a German alchemist and physician born in the 17th century, who is often linked with the inspiration for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dippel was known for his unorthodox and cruel experiments, including attempts to transfer souls between cadavers using alchemical substances. He allegedly conducted grotesque experiments on animals, and possibly humans in his pursuit of creating life. Dippel's obsession with the boundaries of life and death earned him a notorious reputation, and he is remembered as one of the early figures blending pseudoscience and genuine scientific inquiry with macabre results. 4. J. Marion Sims J. Marion Sims, often hailed as the father of modern gynaecology, has a darker legacy due to his unethical medical practices. In the mid-19th century, Sims performed experimental surgeries on enslaved African-American women without anesthesia, believing that black women felt less pain than white women. He conducted numerous procedures to perfect techniques for repairing vesicovaginal fistulas, often ignoring the excruciating pain and suffering of his subjects. Although Sims made significant contributions to gynaecology, his methods raise serious ethical concerns and highlight the exploitation and dehumanization of vulnerable populations in the name of medical advancement. 5. Karl Clauberg. Karl Clauberg was a German physician and a key figure in Nazi human experimentation during World War II. At Auschwitz, Clauberg focused on developing mass sterilization techniques for the Nazi regime. He subjected women prisoners to brutal and painful procedures, including injecting caustic chemicals into their uteruses to block their fallopian tubes. Many women suffered severe injuries, infections, and death due to his experiments. Klauberg's work was aimed at furthering the Nazi goal of racial purity, and his actions left a legacy of suffering and trauma among his victims. 6. Sidney Gottlieb Sidney Gottlieb was an American chemist and spymaster who headed the CIA's MKUltra program during the Cold War. MKUltra was a series of covert experiments on human subjects, often without their consent, to develop mind control techniques. Gottlieb's experiments included administering LSD and other drugs to unwitting subjects, using sensory deprivation, and conducting psychological torture. The program caused significant psychological damage to many participants and raised serious ethical and moral questions about government-sanctioned human experimentation. Gottlieb's work remains one of the most infamous examples of abuse of scientific research for clandestine purposes. 7. Ewan Cameron Ewan Cameron was a Scottish-born psychiatrist whose work in the mid-20th century involved controversial and harmful methods. Cameron led experiments funded by the CIA's MKUltra program at the Allen Memorial Institute in Canada. His methods included depatterning, which involved erasing patients' memories through electroconvulsive therapy and prolonged drug-induced comas, and psychic driving, where patients were subjected to repeated audio messages. These experiments left many patients with permanent psychological damage. Cameron's work is a stark reminder of the potential for abuse in psychiatric research and the violation of patient rights. 8. Harry Harlow 
Harry Harlow was an American psychologist known for his research on social isolation and maternal deprivation in rhesus monkeys. In the mid-20th century, Harlow conducted a series of experiments that involved isolating infant monkeys and subjecting them to cruel conditions to study the effects of social deprivation. His most infamous experiment involved placing infant monkeys with surrogate mothers made of wire or cloth, causing severe psychological distress to the animals. While Harlow's work contributed to understanding the importance of caregiving and social bonds, his methods were highly controversial and criticised for their ethical implications. 9. John Monet John Money was a New Zealand-born psychologist and sexologist whose work in the mid-20th century focused on gender identity and sexual development. Money's most controversial experiment involved David Reimer, a boy raised as a girl following a botched circumcision. Money believed that gender identity was primarily shaped by upbringing and environment. He conducted regular sessions with Reimer, enforcing the female gender identity despite growing signs of psychological distress. The experiment led to severe mental health issues for Reimer, who later transitioned back to a male identity and tragically took his own life. Money's work raises significant ethical questions about the treatment of patients and the impact of psychological theories on human lives. So these were the nine most inhumane scientists of all time. Do you know some more comments below? Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the right circle. And if you want to see more such interesting stuff, check out the left video.